Let's go to this now. Messages of condolences have been pouring in following the passing of Namibian President Dr. Hage Gengob. He passed on on Sunday while receiving medical treatment in hospital. President Nangolo Mumba was sworn in just hours afterwards. President Cyril Ramaphosa also expressed sadness at the passing of a man he described as a leader, patriot and a friend of South Africa. Let's speak now to Ambassador Lina Kelamboti, Focal Point CEO for the African Peer Review mechanism national secretariat namibia let me thank you so much for your time and firstly con condolences let's talk about your reaction to this passing um good, good evening um fellow viewers um and uh, please greetings from namibia we are going through an unprecedented a situation in the history of our country. Uh, it is the first time that a sitting head of state has passed on. And let me at the outset on behalf of the APRM national structures in Namibia express our deepest condolences and sincere sympathy to the widow, Madame Monica Genkos, the children, the entire Namibian nation and the continent at large uh, on the passing, untimely passing, actually, of our beloved president, Hage Gottfried Genkop, whom I have personally known for over 40 years. He was an icon of our liberation struggle, a hero, of the Namibian Revolution and the Pan-Africanist and the visionary leader who has played a key role in the governance architecture of Namibia. And therefore, please permit me to say, may he so rest in peace. And let's talk about the, the difficulty that this passing has come with, especially because he was still in office. And I wonder, those of, you know, all, all the, the people who have worked with him very closely and people like yourselves, how difficult has it been to accept? It is still difficult. Uh, many of us have not accepted what has happened. Um, it is a very, very difficult moment for any Namibians, uh, but we thank the Almighty. Uh, the nation is so far calm, and through the visionary leadership of President Genko, who was actually the chairperson of the Constituents Assembly in 1989, that drafted the Constitution of Namibia, uh, Article 34 of the Constitution. Um, defines the succession in case the office of the president uh, become vacant. And it is true that leadership and vision of the president Genko that we had, we thank God we had a peaceful uh, transition. Uh, we already have uh, president was sworn in on Monday, His Excellency Dr. Nangorom Bumba. And the nation has accepted him. This afternoon, he opened the ninth session of our National Assembly. And the life is going on under very difficult circumstances that our late beloved president has passed on so untimely and yeah. so soon. And, of course, the, the, there has been lots of reaction with some, you know, talking about him, him championing the African peer review mechanism, others looking at his contribution to social justice. But you, you've known him, as you've told us now, for over four decades, as you've said. Let's talk about some personal moments and, you know, things that you would say as a leader you've learned from him. Well, the president, late President Bengo, was very clear. One, his mantra was, no Namibian should be left behind in the governance architecture of the country. He strongly believed in establishing strong institutions 
anchored on processes, systems, and the institutions. And he was an inclusive leader, very, very firm as far as decision making is concerned, but at the same time, very consultative in his decision making process. Um, as you may know, Namibia is number one country in Africa with the freest press. It is because of the foresight of inclusive leadership of President Genko. So we, all of us, had good moments with President Genko um, in our governance architecture in Namibia. Uh, to give you a specific example, uh, Namibia did not accede to the APRM until 2017. Uh, but President Gengo decided we should accede to the APRM and share our experiences with the rest of the continent. Um, and through his dedication and commitment, we completed the targeted review on youth unemployment, and we have even completed our base review report uh, peacefully, and there were no contestation as far as the base review report is concerned. Both civil society, private sector, and the government bought into the base review because of the leadership, of visionary leadership of President Gengo. And finally then, let's look ahead, because as you say, you're forging ahead during turbulent times, and uh, President um, Mumba now taking over until the elections. The road ahead to that particular moment, how will then his voice be missed, and can the country, as you say, rise from this? Yes, we... Um, will definitely miss President Gengo, made President Gengo. Uh, as I said earlier, we never had this experience as Namibians. But we are also a lucky country in a sense. Um, we can still tap on the wisdom of our founding president and our former president who are still alive and the guiding the process um, of this transition um, through their wisdoms. Now, President uh, Bumba has a very difficult assignment of ensuring that he continues from where President Gengop left. Uh, President Gengop had a number of pro programs and projects that he has uh, developed. Among them is the Harambe Prosperity Plan to accelerate the implementation of national development plans. And also, he was the champion of the green hydrogen concept in Africa. Um, so President Bumba has to continue from where President Gengop has, has left. And he has clearly stated that in his inaugural statement. Now, moving forward, uh, this year is a very complicated and difficult year for us. None of us has foreseen losing our president so untimely and so fast, we will hold our uh, general elections in November. Um, but we are still confident that we want to honor uh, the visionary leader of, of, of our pre late president, Comrade Age Gengop, through peaceful, credible, and transparent elections. Because he was really committed to transparency. So right. as far as we are concerned, the road ahead is, is very clear. We had a successful, peaceful uh, transition. And head of in Africa, if I may say so, um, is a Namibian way of doing things. And we hope to continue from there. We just need the support of all of you. This is an hour of, of solidarity. It's an hour of need for any good message from our friends. Um, and we would like to right. thank. Ambassador, let me thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it. And as we said at the beginning, condolences. But thank you so much for sharing your reflections with us this evening. That is Ambassador Lina Kelamboti from, in fact, Focal Point CEO for APRM National Secretariat in Namibia.